Hi everybody, welcome back to another ROG Ally video. And in this one, I'm going to be demonstrating the brand new AMD Fluid Motion Frames feature that has been added to the AMD drivers. Of course, the, um, the ROG Ally that I'm playing on here. And remember, this is the non-extreme version. So if you've got the extreme version, you'll get even better results. Um, the graphics uh, chip on it is an AMD one. And... You, we have things like FSR and all these other technologies to, to increase uh, frame rate and make things smoother and better. Fluid motion flame, frames, that's easy for me to say, is very, very exciting um, because it's a graphics level, it's a kind of a driver level um, technique, I guess you'd say, that inserts frames in between the frames that the game is generating itself. Okay, so... I'm, I'm obviously I'm wandering around in Grand Theft Auto, and if we go into the settings, we can see I'm up at 120 hertz. Now, because this is the, this is the non-extreme version of the Ally, I've, I knock it down to 720p, um, because the, I think with the amazing screen that the uh, the ROG Ally has, that this looks fine, and you do get really good performance. And if you look in the top right-hand side of the screen, we can see we're getting... I mean, we're in a, quite an open area, aren't we, of the city, but we're getting 60 frames a second, um, we can kind of run along. I do like uh, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, Grand Theft Auto. So it's really, it's nice and smooth anyway. <laughs> it really is. I tell you what, let me go into the settings just so you can see what graphic settings I've got. Um, so where are we? So it's important that you go full screen for this to work. We're 1280 by 720, 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, here we go. Uh, population density all the way up, population variety all the way up, distance scaling about half, uh, texture quality high, shadow quality normal, shadow quality high. Um, so, yeah, pretty good. So what we're going to do now is, bearing in mind, so we're getting around about 60 to 65 frames a second, aren't we? What we're going to do now is I'm going to turn on AMD's fluid, fluid motion frames. So let's jump out of here. Let's go into the, let's turn on my mouse. Go into the software. Uh, um, go into where are we? Home. I don't remember how to use this properly. And we go into performance. Oh, sorry, settings. Gaming. Here we go, here we go. AMD Fluid Motion Frames. Let's turn that on. What it, why I got a little bit confused there is that what this software allow, allows you to do as well is that you can have per game settings. So because I'm actually in a game, it's taken me into Grand Theft Auto 5, the settings for that, so that you can have individual settings for each game, just like you can on the Steam Deck. Whereas if you haven't got a game running, it goes into a slightly different view. It doesn't save the game. So let's turn that on. Now... If you want to monitor this um, and you want to see what the frames uh, are doing, at the moment anyway, at the time of recording this video, you must use the AMD overlay, the kind of graphics driver level overlay, and not the Armory Crate overlay that, that um, is done by, by Asus and Rogallo because that won't tell you the right uh, figures. Um, so you can go into uh, performance and you go over here. I, what I'd, I'll do in the description below this video, I'll put a link to how you turn all this stuff on as well to give you an idea. So that's now on. Um, so what we can do now is if we go back to Grand Theft Auto, hopefully what we'll now see is if we go back to our gamepad, there we go. If you look at the frames per second now, <laughs> they're up there at 100 frames a second. So we gained 40 frames a second. Now remember, this is the non-extreme version of the AMD ROG Ally as well. Um, and also, I'm not using FSR or any frame other frame generation techniques, or we're not using any of the... Um, like the DLSS type techniques, obviously the, the AMD ones, whereby the game doesn't render at native resolution it rains at a lower resolution and then the graphics uh, chip upscales it i don't particularly like using them on the rug ally because i think they they kind of they can make the screen a little bit blurry and you you lose detail but i also think that when you're in handheld mode with these devices especially the the rug ally non-extreme 
the the way that the um the upscaling kind of works is i think that what it does is it takes some of the graphics p power away from the game itself and so you're kind of robbing peter to pay, play paul so i prefer just to have the game uh, rendering at, at the resolution you want to watch it at and play it at so in this case 720p but what fluid motion frames is doing is that it all it's then doing is just inserting these frames in between um what the uh, what the game is making and you know so we're up at 90 frames a second so we've gained a third um i remember this is also the first iteration of these drivers coming to the uh, the ally which means that as they get improved we're probably going to see you know better and better performance i should have really tried this out with cyberpunk 2077 because that's you know that's like one of the killer apps isn't it but i haven't got it installed on my rog ally um at the moment um and i thought well actually Actually, um, you know, this I think this is a, a really good uh, demo as well. Now, I tell you what, let's go in and let's just change. So the screen is only at 60 hertz now. So what happens is, I think what happens when you do this, you lose some of the advantage because the screen's only refreshing at 60 hertz, but uh, fluid motion frames is still inserting in um, frames that you're not really getting to see. What they do say as well is if you get absolutely amazing performance and the AMD fluid motion frame starts inserting more frames than you can actually display. So let's say it went above 120 hertz or 120 frames a second in this case uh, on the wrong ally. What you then might uh, get is screen tearing. Um, oh, I should have also mentioned, I don't know whether I mentioned that you should have V-Sync turned off as well when you do this. And I think this is an amazing... Um, demonstration of um, the ROG Ally, the ROG Ally uh, Z1 non-extreme version and just what this amazing little device um, can uh, can get up to. So there we go, so far this seems like fantastic technology, can't wait for it to come to other devices you know like the, the Steam Deck because that uses AMD graphics in it as well doesn't it um, and hopefully um, you'll be impressed too. Now by the time you come and come to this video hopefully what will happen um, over the next couple of weeks is they will add the ability to add this into the command center uh, within the armory crate software so you'll be able to um, fire up uh, the command center and you'll have a tile which will turn this on and off instead of having to go into the amd graphics driver software but you know we'll, you know we'll, we'll it's early days so kind of will we will uh, have to see um, let's go back to desktop jump back into grand theft auto back into gamepad do i go into gamepad there yeah come out of there and we are back in the game so there we go Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see me on the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.